Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brian Tenorio as he delivers the first State of Philippine Design Address in the country. A warm round of applause. Let us remember our friends in Japan and the Filipino diaspora living in that region. Designers, I think, design for so many reasons, but one of them is love and another is compassion. So for the people in Japan and our loved ones, maybe we should design for them, yeah? Good evening. Very glad to be here. In the next 45 minutes, I shall tell you where we are now in terms of design and what design has done for the Philippines and for other countries and what we can do for Philippine design. And then after that, I shall all, uh, ask you all out for cocktails and drinks outside to network. And so we start the state of Philippine design. How I got here, um, starting out in graphic design. I, I started out in graphic design and I went to judging in the Philippine Web Awards for five years. I wrote for Colors Magazine in Benetton. Oops, I forgot that. And I started to put up my shoe label, Tenorio Manila. And then I studied design management in New York uh, researching design policy for developing countries, which we eventually presented at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. And then I started reporting trends and doing forecasts for SITEM around Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And now currently I'm a consultant and brand for branding and design at the Asian Development Bank. So I would say that um, my career coverage is really about sexy, techy designer development. And you have all these words all around that. It's a long introduction. In any way, I personally thank Mr. Jaime Zobel and Ayala Mall's group for believing in and supporting Philippine design and Filipino designers. I'll give you an idea of what this talk is not about. It's not a discussion of specific industries. It's not a micro discussion or a discussion of individual designers, but it's very macro, superiorly macro. It's not a trends forecast, and it's not about me. What this talk is about is about what design has done for other countries and what we can do for Philippine design. In every topic I cover, I want you to think about where you fit in, what your role is in Philippine design, because there's a lot of designers in the room, how you are going to be affected by what I'm saying and how you will affect other people in the industry. But before we do that, I'm going to give you an overview of the difference, difference between art and design, so that you have an idea if you attended the right talk. So art versus design, it's not a fight, it's not a Mani Pacquiao versus someone else, but it's a, it's a comparison of two very important words. Art is self-expression, while design is problem solving. That is the main and only difference, really. I'll give an example. And this one is very clear to all of us. Um, art, Mona Lisa. But if you want to express your own idea, for example, let, let's say about art, you want to express your own idea, you have this thing that you wanted to tell people, regardless of whether what their reaction is, that is art. But when you have to create something to convey a message, if you want need to convince someone or point to, the, or point to a propaganda or an idea, that belongs to someone else or is a part of a campaign, if you need to make something more interesting, if you want people to believe in you, that is design. So the one on the right, for example, is a picture from the Tehran Museum. Uh, it's Mona Lisa wearing a burqa. And apparently it's a part of a series of designs about Tehran or Persian culture. So that is the difference between art and design. So we all know the difference as well. But at the same time, there's a difference between small design, small d, and large d design, or capital D design. Small d design, lowercase d, is about polishing the product, making something more interesting. You know, you have something made in your art research and development program, in your art organization, and you say, Brian, halika nga dito, palitan natin ang packaging para mas maganda, para momento. Brian, come here, and let's figure out how to package this product. That's just product polishing. Design with a capital D is a lot more other things. In fact, with design with a capital D, you can influence purchase decisions. You can penetrate new markets. You can build your brand image. You can come to market faster. 
You could improve revenue, have more money, have more, have more sales. You can save money. You can enable innovation. You can increase customer satisfaction. You can have more intellectual property with large D design. You can improve usability. And you know what? It helps the world too. So that is the now, difference. You know, you know what? Sometimes when you work with the designer and you involve the designer earlier in the production process, maybe the designer will even have, can tell you, you know what? We don't need a new product because you know what? What we need right now can be embodied without manufacturing anything into something existing. And that is the power of design. You can simplify, you can strategize, and then you can embody.